So here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Brett the Hitman Hart. An Attitude Era flashback. And the reason why we got this match up today is because we have some new WWE 2K20 news. And this comes from WrestleVotes. And you might have heard about this already, but I wanted to give my views and opinions. And I want you to have yours in the comments section below. So I have linked the Twitter account of WrestleVotes in the description of this video. But this is what WrestleVotes have said. The up and coming promotion for this year's WWE 2K game will be tremendous. Similar to the NFL 100 commercial from the Super Bowl. The spot features legends and current superstars, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, who you see here, the nature boy Ric Flair, the return of Hulk Hogan, and mega money will be spent on this. It will look awesome. Now WrestleVotes followed up on this initial tweet and then said this. Following up on the WWE 2K spot news from yesterday, Sources state Ric Flair was initially scheduled for the shoot, but not confirmed. Others who are confirmed for the commercial include Roman Reigns, Sting, my favourite, Paul Heyman, Brett the Hitman Hart, who you see here, Shawn Michaels, Charlotte Flair, and the man, Becky Lynch. As Bret Hart went for the pin, but only a one count, so if we look at the names that is quite a combination of talent you've got past and present and if you haven't seen the nfl 100 commercial i will link it in the description box too and you should go and check it out because it is very entertaining it's a bit like a free-for-all they're at some sort of award ceremony uh, loads of NFL talent. I don't know the NFL very well, so my history or my knowledge of it isn't very good. But one of them tries to get uh, a cheeky bite of the cake and uh, knocks uh, the NFL ball off the top of the cake. And then chaos breaks loose. And it does remind me a bit of the Attitude Era commercial at Titan Towers. So if you go and check out that commercial for the NFL 100, then you remember that Titan Towers commercial. They were both very entertaining. And if 2K are gonna do something like that, it is going to be good. 2K always deliver and knock it out of the park with those cinematic style commercials when they feature superstars and talent. So I'm quite excited to see this. But my big question would be, is this where the money is going to go and should it be going there for a commercial which is going to cost a ton of money i mean all these superstars getting them together i think it's going to be quite a costly project and last year we had something like the million dollar challenge did it really elevate the game that much i'm sure it did sell lots of copies but did it make the game better i would say no because I felt like instead of going down that route with that marketing piece for the Million Dollar Challenge, they should have spent more time focusing on the build of the game and giving us the game modes that potentially that we wanted or improvements to the game modes that we want and also making sure that the game feels solid and robust. Because still, even though 2K19 was a step up on previous years, it's got its moments where it doesn't feel like it's robust. It feels like it could break down on you. And it shouldn't feel like that now that 2K have had this franchise for a number of years. I want it to be more solid. And I also think like Universe Mode could have had a lot more investment in it. Considering that so many people play that mode. We've talked about it before on the 2K forum. You guys have been you know commenting constantly for improvements as part of the feedback project it was the most popular section to be commented on and then we had the introduction of things like 2k towers which in my opinion didn't really make the game any better so i would prefer you know the money to be invested into the game itself to make modes better maybe you know 
pay the superstars to do more voiceovers, get more voice acting, have more um, commentary. So we've got different types of commentary, not just the same commentary for the entire game. Maybe we have the NXT commentary team. Maybe the money goes into those sort of things as opposed to some big budget commercial. But I do get it. You know, these commercials, the minute you see your favorite superstar or a legend featured, people are gonna go out and buy the game because of that. So I'm kind of tied. I'm excited to see this commercial, if it happens, because this hasn't come officially from 2K. It has come from WrestleVotes and their Twitter account. And I would say that you should take these things as a pinch of salt until they're made official. But it is exciting to hear about such a big budget commercial. It sounds like then 2K have set aside a budget to really focus on WWE, a bit like their NBA franchise. There was a lot of talk about them really knuckling down to make this franchise better. And this could be the start. But I don't want, you know, commercials detracting away from the focus of the actual video game. So if you went and bought the game off the hype of the commercials, then you get the game and there's no significant improvements, you're going to feel let down. I feel like 2K19 scratched the surface to be a better WWE game, so I do expect now a major step forward from just scratching it. Do you agree? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, but don't get me wrong. It's going to be interesting, and it's more interesting now because we've had these reports about there being a women's evolution showcase, but now, if there's going to be heavy focus on the legends, could it be a legend showcase which combines going through the years? Maybe going up to present because you've got that crossover of the old superstars with the new and there has been comparisons of Stone Cold Steve Austin's run and his feud with the authority being compared to what Becky Lynch has done now in current days. So it might be that they go for something like that, where you have, you know, the future going back to the past and the past then revisiting the present, you know, kind of going full circle. And that would then lead me to ask you the question, what do you think the tagline of this year's game would be. Last year we had Never Say Never. I wasn't that keen on that. But if we have, uh, think about, you know, heavily featuring legends, combining it with the present, then, now, and forever makes a perfect tagline, but WWE have done that for a number of years. So what could we get instead? Something similar to that? Let me know your taglines in the comment section below. Definitely want to hear from you and some of the best ones I will certainly note and mention in a future video when we cover more WWE 2K20 content. But um, Brett the Hitman Hart, hey, coming back to WWE once again. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame as part of the Hart Foundation. And at that point, we all thought all is well with the WWE. Then he goes and appears at Double or Nothing, AEW's first pay-per-view, which was a huge success, showcasing the new AEW World Heavyweight Championship. And then I thought maybe the bridges were burnt once again between Brett and Vince McMahon. But no, if he's going to be involved in this commercial, seems like he's still on good terms, which is interesting because there is pressure mounting on the WWE to step up their game with AEW now kicking in and getting going and Double or Nothing was good. I enjoyed Double or Nothing. So, I don't know. I, I thought that was an interesting one, that name. And of course, Hulk Hogan returning to WWE games. The last time we saw Hulkamania in a WWE game was WWE 2K15. And we also had that Hulkamania edition, the collector's edition. So Hogan is back too. That is a big name. And regardless or not of how you feel towards Hulk Hogan, he is a draw for wrestling fans because he is such an iconic figure, um, you know, in wrestling. 
many people watched wrestling for Hulk Hogan. If you ask anybody to name a wrestler, they'll probably say someone like Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So having those names in a WWE game is important to sell it as oh, Austin shows Brett the middle finger and the count on the outside of the ring. And this matchup again, I hope you're enjoying these matchups that we're putting together as part of these commentaries. Um, I want to give you guys some entertainment value as we talk about certain topics um, or things that are of interest, particularly when it comes to WWE games. And um, this match again that we put on is a bit of a cracker. And we tried to give it that attitude ever feel with the action spilling to the outside, Austin using certain taunts. And we can't forget some of the history that Brett and Austin had. I mean, that was a good rivalry as well. But um, I want to get your views and opinions on all this detail that's coming out. Like I said, I wouldn't get too carried away with it. I wouldn't think that this is all set in stone because we've still got this women's evolution rumor going around. Becky Lynch being the cover star, which I'd say probably should happen. But then if they're going to focus on like a past and a present, maybe we could have some sort of dual cover where we have lots of superstars on the cover to make a change as Austin made a mistake and Bret Hart wants Austin up. Austin, oh, rocks the hitman. But Bret, oh, stops Austin in his tracks. So let me know what you think. I'm very interested to hear this. Are you excited about the commercial? Which other legends would you like to bring into the fold that haven't been mentioned here? And out of the legends that have been mentioned, which ones are you excited about seeing? And do you like the contrast and the combination of past and present? And I want to know that tagline too. What would you go for? What would your hashtag be? What would be your USP? Your unique selling point for this year's game, WWE 2K20. What would you go for? I'm kind of with that thought process of then, now and forever. I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. If 2K were to take it and just expand upon it. But ah, oh, Brett looking for the sharpshooter. The excellence of execution. He's got it locked in. Can Austin find a way to escape? He escaped before, but not this time. He taps out, and the Hitman beats Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this could be a match that we could have in some sort of showcase in WWE 2K20 with the Legends being involved in rumors of a Legends commercial and trailer. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have your say in the comments below.